in this month long series on the intersection of black liberation and solidarity with other groups. I want to talk about the connection, the historical connection that is over a hundred years old between the black and the Jewish community. Good morning community. How are you? I hope you are well. I am doing pretty well, blessed and no complaints. With that being said, you know, this is Mindful Monday. I always take time on Sunday to meditate and plan the week. And Mondays is a day to kind of start and reflect on what that looks like. And in this month long series on the intersection of black liberation and solidarity with other groups, I want to talk about the connection, the historical connection that is over a hundred years old between the black and the Jewish community. With everything that is going on in Gaza, uh, I know that there was a Super Bowl ad. Yeah. Dr. Clarence Jones and Robert Kraft um, talking about the solidarity, the legacy between Jewish and black Americans in you know, the US concerning civil rights and allyship and working together to help these two marginalized groups uh, find liberation for black people. As we are taught in this society, in our cultures, what is right and what is not right? What is the norm? What is acceptable? Um, and is, is really what, what I wanted to just have us think about today is what do you feel is right? What does your moral compass say about humans attacking each other? As I think about the things that are happening in Gaza between Palestinians and Israelis and how America is involved in that, and it just still feels like it's a marginalized group that's being treated very similar to how Black people in America have been treated and still are being treated. And it, it makes it very, it's a very touchy situation because black Americans are supposed to be thought of as guaranteed allies to Jewish people because of our long-standing history with each other. And yet there's, there's still been tension between black Americans and Jewish people to this day. And how the Super Bowl, you know, was very distracting to for hundreds of millions of people that was watching it, but what was going on behind the scenes and how strategic that was for it to happen during Super Bowl Sunday. I, I don't know where this is gonna go. I don't know how this is gonna come back and affect Americans and who is gonna impact, um, but we have a problem. We really do. To be alive and see this, this is not like, 50, 60 years ago in black and white, and we're like, man, that was terrible back then. This is happening now. So just wanted you to have that on this Monday and really maybe take that in, um, process. And let's see where this takes us as a people. What can we do about this? How can we create community and change when things like this happen? So 